Hi, I'm Dr. Biju Raju and I welcome you to the theater complex at Dr. NSG Raju's Eye Hospital. I'm a veterinary surgeon. I'm also a cataract surgeon and I handle the surgeries in this hospital. Let's take a look at our theater today. This is the view that we get from just outside our main theater. This is the place where we take a break in between surgeries. And you can see the wonderful view here of the Kanyambura River and the Kochi Metro uh, track behind us. And this view sort of relaxes us between surgeries and uh, it's a very relaxing view for us. Between surgeries, much needed, I guess. And this is our main theatre. And it it has automatic doors. This is uh, Sister Walsa Sabu. She is a theatre assistant. She, she probably is the most experienced uh, theatre assistant in Kerala right now. And uh, uh, behind her is Jyoti. She is a second assistant. And Omana Sister is the circulating assistant and takes care of our post op areas. The theatre has a lamina floor which has uh, Six HEPA filters, about 0.2 to 0.5 micron filters, which filters most of the microorganisms that comes into the normal air. And the filter air comes down into this area, which is the operating field. And that's where the head of the patient will be. And uh, there's a air handling. There's an air handling unit above the theater along with the air conditioning unit that uh, provides the air that comes in. There is an intake of about 20% of fresh air from outside. And so the air in the theater is always circulated and there is a 20% intake of fresh air that comes in. It's not the stale circulating air all the time. And the air that comes in with the pressure is uh, you know, taken back to the uh, ducts here. And uh, once the, uh, the door is closed, it's a hermetically sealed door. You can see the uh, rubber paddings that seal the door completely, so that this becomes a high pressure area inside the theater, which is more than the pressure outside. So when you open the door, when, you, when the door is open, it's actually the air from here, air from the inside of the OT rushes out, rather than the air from outside coming in. So the filtered clean air that comes in makes sure that the theater is in an ultra clean environment and even when you open the door the bad air from outside or the unclean air from outside doesn't come into the theater rather the clean air from the theater goes out and is replaced by the air from above so that the entire area is kept clean to maintain the pressure differential we have this uh, sort of a vent here if the pressure goes very high this opens up and you know releases the pressure you can actually feel the air blowing out from here and uh, that helps in keeping the pressure inside the theater stable the theater flooring is also an ultra clean room flooring uh, with no uh, actual uh, edges there's sloping edges here so that there's no accumulation of excessive dust or anything like that sort. This is a microscope that I use for both cataract and uh, vitreoidal work. Uh, it's a call size uh, Visu 150 and it is one of the, I, I think probably one of the best microscopes for combined surgery. Uh, it works well with the biome and this is the uh, stereoscopic diagonal inverter that we use for the uh, retinal work. A biome is attached here and th there is a laser filter here which is uh, from Iridex that you know filters out 532 nanometers of wavelength so that it, those laser wavelengths don't come into my eye it has a stereoscopic diagonal inverter which is which can be controlled manually like this uh, which brings in the coroprism so that the images are erect while i do vitreoidal surgery there's a doubt tail here this is a doubt tail into which the biome or the binocular indirect ophthalmo microscope setting gets attached to and that helps in uh, viewing the retina during vitreoidal surgery and we have a camera here that's a sony dxc c33p and that 
is connected to the controller here and the controller is connected to the TV and to the uh, recording system here and so that the surgeries can be viewed by the uh, surgical assistant so that each step is clearly visible and uh, th there is no confusion as to what is happening uh, uh, during the surgery. That's the way the biome is fixed to the dovetail of the microscope. And that's a stereoscopic diagonal inverter. An inverter is required because the biome gives a laterally reversed and inverted image which needs to be re-inverted by the poropresence of the stereoscopic diagonal inverter. For anterior segment surgery, we can swing the biome away from the field and when you are ready for vitreoidal work, you can swing it back into position and then start with the vitreoidal procedures. This is the Stellaris uh, combined uh, system, Stellaris PC uh, combined cataract and uh, posterior segment surgery system. And th this is what we use for uh, cataract surgery as well as uh, retinal surgery, vitrectomy. Uh, my preferred technique is 23 gauge vitrectomy. And uh, this is an excellent machine. This is probably the most advanced of combined surgeries. And Probably the best machine for combined surgery where you have to take the cataract, uh, tackle the cataract and then do a vitrectomy. And so this is a very intuitive, very uh, response uh, friendly and fast uh, machine. And it's a venturi based uh, machine for so the movement of uh, fluid, movement of uh, the nucleic pieces are more faster than a peristaltic and uh, that. Being a retinal surgeon, uh, we have been using Venturi and fast vacuum pumps, so it kind of uh, it was easy for me to uh, use this machine for uh, cataract surgery also. The foot switch, uh, what I have here is the uh, Stellaris foot switch, which is a wireless foot switch and uh, it has a area here for the laser, but if we have a laser module, then we can have that uh, laser connected. Uh, so in between surgery, in the middle of the surgery, I mean, we can lift up the, uh, 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 the, the hinge and then start using the uh, pedal for uh, the laser. Uh, but right now we don't have a module but we have a separate laser module so there's a separate foot switch for that and that's the microscope foot switch that controls uh, the microscope and uh, that's the that's the xy for moving the microscope and um, uh, this is for the focus that's the zoom for the microscope so you have the microscope controls on the floor so uh, basically you are completely uh, uh, free with your hands to operate where, where your foot uh, on the left takes care of your microscope and your uh, on the right side will take care of the uh, parameters of the machine. We have other standby machine here that's the Aquarius from Alcom which is uh, a workhorse and we have been using that for so many years uh, but right now uh, because the support for this machine is not very good so we kept it as a backup uh, in case there is any technical issue with the main machine. 